And I am at Hershey Gardens, and this is the butterfly exhibit. everywhere. They almost look fake. Does he like the butterfly? Yes, he landed on his nose. Oh, did he? No, I'm saying, oh, oh, no. Oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> oh, I wish. I think some of these are moths. Like those, those on the cantaloupe, they look like moths. <laughs> <laughs> I have been coming to Hershey um, for the Groom Expo for over 20, 20 years, I think, and I have never come to Hershey Gardens but it was well advertised in my hotel, um, the, the, the butterfly atrium, um, as it's called. Look at that. Look at the shadows. Look at the shadows, girl. Watching all the butterflies. And we know that dye antinatalists love shadows. And these are tropical butterflies. So they have a double door and it is very important that they do not escape and cause um, crop damage to nearby farmers. April, I bet you're loving this video because this is right up your alley. And I'm sure I'm getting some great video with my new iPhone camera. It's a little humid in here. <laughs> it is extremely humid outside today. Hot and humid. It's really nice. Um, there's no children in this facility today, it seems. So, um, it, you know, you don't have the annoyances of, of children. It's almost like it's the first day of school and they're all back at the school. <laughs> That's a pretty one. It's a very, are, are the ones that are on the cantaloupe, are they moths? No, we have no the only moths that wow. you see are in here. Those are all butterflies. Oh. Can I pet them? Yeah, you I can. Got really hot in uh, Hershey today, didn't it? <laughs> You want some water for him? You know what? She she drank in the bathroom. She she drank because uh. <laughs> I 
really like that yellow and black one. <laughs> Pretty amazing. I mean, the clarity um, from my video. So they, they aren't moths. Um, they look like moths to me, but I, I'm not um, an insect specialist. These are beautiful. Look at the markings on that butterfly. It's just amazing. <clears throat> Um, these are the moths. This is a moth inside this container here. Oh, they really like that pineapple up there. <laughs> Look at that, they're really going to town. So these are tropical butterflies, so they are enjoying their sweet fruit. Wings are really beat up. It's <laughs> oh, interesting. God, he's, he's like a green moth. I have a question. Why are some of the the the, um, the bigger butterflies' wings torn up and beat up? Okay, because they're getting old. Oh, they're getting old. If you look, if you look at those yes. guys right there, yes. it's okay, baby. Yes. If you look at these guys right here, you can see as they get older, 
the wings start to get brittle. It's okay. it's okay. The wings get brittle. I see. It's okay. So are they like extracting water from the sponge? Actually, they're drinking Gatorade. <laughs> they're drinking Gatorade. Yes, they love Gatorade. You mean not even homemade Gatorade? Real Gatorade? Yeah, we got we have an orange Gatorade what? for them. The sponges are there for them to walk on. Oh, they they drink orange Gatorade, and the sponge allows them to walk around and not get the Gatorade on their feet. How cool is that? <laughs> How long they don't live that long though? Two and a half, three weeks at the most. That's what we see. So that's, I mean, Even in two weeks. Even in a while, you... 30 days at the most. Oh, 30 days at the most. That's shocking that in 30 days their wings can Well, get... even before that, even after about the first week, week and a half, the wings start to dry out. So it doesn't just happen overnight. Wow. It's a process with them. So. Do they sleep? Yeah, they do, actually. You'll see some of them, like, kind of hanging out up there. They're resting. Come this afternoon, they'll all be on that tree, a lot of them. When they die, do you... See them all oh. up there? When they die, do you save them? Here's what has to happen with them. Normally, we have to go ahead and actually freeze them for four days in minus 40 degree temperature when they die because we don't know what type of disease or bacteria they brought in from their host country. So we don't want it to get out into our host country. So we do that. It's just like people calling us and going, hey, we have uh, a lot of uh, monarch crystals. Do you want them? No. We can't bring them in here because we don't know what type of disease or bacteria that monarch might have. So we don't want it to infect any of our butterflies in here. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when they die, when they die, they freeze them to prevent diseases. Only when you ask questions do you get answers. I think a lot of people go through life and they never ask questions and they never read. They just watch TV or stay on the internet or listen to football scores. <laughs> of course, those types wouldn't be in an, um, a butterfly atrium anyway, anyway would they? So they, they love the warm weather, he said. So only within a couple of weeks or a month, um, that's their entire lifespan, and their wings get brittle, and uh, um, this is a sign of age. So the two up top would be very young butterflies. And that one probably is near expiration. As an antinatalist, I just 
I just feel like it's very, very sad, saddening that every um, species, every being, every sentient being um, ages and declines and dies. It's just an unfair proposition. It is just not uh, huh, kosher. It's not cool. It is not appropriate. It is not moral. And it is not acceptable. It is not acceptable for life to continue in any species. Oh, there's a blue one. Oh, that one's beautiful. Come on, I hope he lands. I really like the blue one. <laughs> Somebody said they, they wanted to see a butterfly land on her nose. <laughs> yeah, um, those blue ones over there are quite active. So these guys are mating. Um, unfortunately, they are going to bring new life into the world. And um, those are blue. Those are the really pretty blue ones. Well, no, they aren't the blue ones, but their wings are not open. But they are mating, and she said it can like take all day, and she's like, oh, if that were me and my husband, she says I would kill him. <laughs> so they will So they will be reproducing, um, creating more butterflies and creating more suffering and death. So just as I said that they were, it was a child-free um, place, um, I was wrong. I had to eat my words, didn't I? Yeah. So 
I'll be leaving this environment pretty soon, but I think I'm going to leave off with um, the mating butterflies because that is my agenda to promote um, non-reproduction, non-mating, um, non-existence. Thank you for watching my video. Um, this far and please subscribe if you already haven't hit the like button and leave a comment thanks a lot